Describe what it was like working at Sigma Sound. Well, at, at some days there were things going on downstairs and upstairs. And like Bobby Eli, Bobby wrote a, a hit for a guitarist, right? I forget mm. the name, you know, a sideshow. Sideshow, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> Bobby would be, he'd get done on a break. He'd go downstairs and record with somebody else. It was crazy at the time. But with Tom Bell, uh, you know, Tom had a sign on the door, no visitors. It was a close, you know, wasn't like people would walk in and out. And it was rather tame because we get there at 10 o'clock. We probably didn't play a note till 11 a.m. So the sessions were three uh, sessions a day, like 10 to 1, 2 to 5, and 6 to 9. And again, we're getting double scale. So we're doing four, like with a Lou Rolls album, we would do that in three or four days. And Tom was very laid back. You know, uh, and sometimes we wouldn't play for an hour and a half or two hours because he'd be overdubbing a synthesizer or a string line or having Bobby Eli or another guy, Bill Neal, who played guitar, Larry Washington doing something different, a different pattern. So it wasn't this anxiety filled thing like subbing on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, was, we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, it was very laid back. And again, now <laughs> recording with Kenny Gamble or Leon Huff, I learned to bring manuscript, a manuscript book, because they would say, oh, can you uh, can you overdub that bell part? Now, I don't have perfect pitch and I'm listening to the playback. So I would ask like uh, Leon Huff, I said, look, could you play that piano line on the keyboard? And I would scratch it out. Maybe we'd do four measures. Do it. So that was a completely different thing than Tom having everything copied, you know, on, on, on the big paper, professional copyist. So it wasn't any type of anxiety. In fact, it was so loose because, you know, we'd have, you know, lunch delivered, but we'd always get done three or four tracks in a day.